Okay, the last video, I used a timer. So I just set a timer because that worked rather well, if I can just remember to do that now. We're in The Art of Positivity by Jane Madej. And I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. But anyway, there's the ISBN. If you missed our last session, we did all that. Okay, we did most of it. We didn't do the yellow and we didn't do the spool. So that's where we're going to key in at this time. And I happen to think one thing I should have done last time was probably gotten up and down more and zoomed in on the different elements. I will try to remember that. Um, let's start with our spool of thread. There, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> Some of you are going, yeah. So my first color was, and now I've got to look and make sure. So when, this is another reason I have my colors here. When I forget the order, instead of having to scribble out on paper, I can just go through here and look. I want to say Orchid is the lightest of the purples. Okay, plum is the darkest. So do I have plum on the outside? Of course not. So they're going to be this way. I believe orchid, you know what? I'm just going to do what I just said I didn't want to do, which is scribbling over here on the side to find out what order the pencils go in. All right, so first color, orchid. You can see I went through the middle, and then I went through just what's on the top part. Don't go underneath, okay? Now, one thing I will tell you, I've already got these purples, so I'm going to do it, but you may want to do the yellow banner first, because that way you're not streaking purple into your yellow. Do your lighter color first, is what I'm saying, okay? So anyway... I've got this orchid on there. Next, I'm going to move to royal purple. So royal purple is going to come in for my shadow color. And you can see there's quite the difference there. So I'm really going to do some blending here. And then under here, I just really want a thread that's really different. Do you have to do one really different? No. And I'll go across that bottom. In fact, I'm going to go across that just lightly. I don't want to lose it. See how I left it? But I just wanted it quite a bit lighter. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to come up these sides. all the way up. Now, this section here is underneath, and that is underneath, so I'm not going to worry about that too much yet, but it will take se separate addressing in a little bit. Okay, then let's hit it coming up this side. Lighter as I come in. I will go over it all just like I did that last one on the bottom. Just not as liberally as what I'm doing on the outside. See how I'm kind of going in a circle around that? That way I'm sure to go ahead and leave that very center a little bit lighter because I'm still doing pretty heavy handed right now and I don't want to cover up that center so now I'm going to go ahead and go over the whole thing but I'm going to keep it at a light touch okay now I'm going to go ahead and go over this
because if I went over it here, I've got to go over it here so that it all kind of goes together. And don't go all the way back because we need the darker color back there. All right. So I'm going to stop with that for a minute. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do right here and right here and right under here. See how I did those just a little bit darker? And I'm going to go a little bit darker up here because this is shadowed from the top of the spool. Okay, I'm going to come down here and get this loop. Take your time on your loops. Um, sometimes they seem like, oh, it's just a line, it's easy. And it is, but it's also very easy to slip and get outside the lines. Okay, so right now I'm just coloring 101, just coloring inside the lines. So my hand's in the way, you didn't miss anything. Okay, right there. I'm going to come in now with my plum. This is my darker, darker color. So now I'm going to get right up to the edge of that banner. And that's why I said you may want to do the yellow first. Because if I go into that now and I erase, it's going to leave the yellow stained paper. If I do the purple and then try to erase, it's going to leave the purple stain because the yellow is not already on there. See how that looks like it's underneath now because of the colors and where we put them? Here. Again, I am using Plum. And these are Crayola brand. Now, I'm going to get right along this edge. The more I do on the edge, the more curved it's going to look. And I'm going to get right down in here. I want that to look like it's going right back up under there. All right. Make your darks a little bit darker. It's going to make your lights really pop. This is where I'm going to get this piece. All right. I'm going to get part of this one. Anything that looks like it might be tucked underneath, now's your time to get it. coming up that side. Down the side and then bring it in just a little. Okay, now our spool is looking more rounded. Okay, so if you're really doing this and you want to stop and do that real quick, go ahead. If you want to watch the whole thing first, that's fine too. Totally up to you. I did my yellow banner first, so I probably should have started with that in my last video. All right, my colors. There's a lot of them, y'all, but this is so doable. And I need to stand up. And pull back out. Okay. There we go. Banner is in basically. Yes. All right. So now then, anything that's in the front, you want it to be lighter. So I chose unmellow yellow. And I did this one, this one, and this one. You can see I only went to like right here. Don't go all the way to the edge if you're wanting to get your depth. Then my second color is yellow. So you do this, 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 and this in the yellow. Okay, leave your areas where you want to put some darker colors. So I've got five colors. I'm using these on the front part of the banner, then adding one 
and dropping one for the shadowed or back part of the banner. Okay, let's look at that again. So this is this front color. Then the next color is yellow. So I'm going to start coming in with the yellow and just start blending. Okay, go around there. Just get your color in there. That's what I did on here, 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 here. Should be done here, and then here. Now, that's as far over as I really have to go because I've got two more colors yet on that part of the banner. So I put my yellow back and grab out golden yellow. So now golden yellow goes here. I'm not getting that very cornered area. Just right up next to it. But see how this is giving it some depth? That's what I was after. Okay, then my next color is mango. Does that not look orange? Now, when we put it on, it works fine. Isn't that amazing? Just like, wait a minute. How did that happen? Okay, so same thing on that side. Not using that color. That color gets used on the ones in the back. So now I'm on the ones in the back. I'm not using my first color because it was in the front. I colored the entire area with yellow. Then I'm going to go to golden yellow. And if you don't catch this the first time, please watch it again. And then if you still don't catch it, pop me something down in the comments box. I can draw another banner out by hand and hopefully help you to understand how to color banners. Okay, so there's that. Now, I'm going to do just a bit there, but I'm probably going to color over that. Same thing here, just a bit, but I'm probably going to end up going over it. And then I'm also going across here because this is in front of this. So that's going to cast some shadows. And lighter as I come up into the previous color. And I picked colors that will blend really easily. No sense in making it hard. And some of you are going to be like, oh, banners are a cinch. But there will be someone that has to watch it a couple times. And that's fine. Not a big deal. Now we're going to the mango. Whoops, you know what? I didn't get... I didn't do golden yellow in these areas. So then golden yellow around. Or did I? Maybe that's what that color is that's on there. I don't think so. Anyway, get that in there. Then go to the mango. And we're going to get mango in here. Mango across here. Okay, following, understanding. 
My hopes is that when this video is finished, okay, and this one is Harvest Gold, that you would be able to sit down and do a banner on your own. Okay? That's what the hope is. And see, I'm doing the top part of this, but not as much the bottom, just because that's what's tucked up underneath. Okay. And then there, because the crown's there. Then I would come back with my original yellow. Remember, this is the background for these. This is the background for the front layers. You can use same colors when you're doing layers. Just add one color to the background and take away one from the front. So what we did, we added this one to the background and took this one away. Took this away from the front, added this to the front. And I think I probably just mixed you all up. But anyway, hopefully that made some semblance of understanding. And see, now I'm just getting those colors blended. And getting the rest of the white tooth out of that paper. See, sometimes you can get enough friction going that it gets warm and melts those colors and then allows them to blend even better. Yeah, it actually, it's not warm, warm, but it's not as cool. It's cooler here than it is right here because that's where I was working. Okay, so because we have the time, I'm going to go ahead and do this side too. So I remember... Don't use this color, add this one. So we started with this, so now I'll go to the next one, which is yellow. Next is golden yellow. You see, I left just a smidge right there. Just a little smidge where I can push that color in. Now, the mango. If that had not blended well, I would have come back with my base color and just blended that all out. Okay, but I'm pretty happy with what that looked like. The lettering. All right, I am actually going to come in with gel pens that have glitter to do my lettering and to do my flower centers. And I may even pop a little bit in here. Um, I show that we have time. So my glitter pins are not right here. Let's see if I can grab them. Alright, so here are some gel pens. These are all glittery gel pens. So they're fun. They're my little precious. Okay, anyway. Um, my gel pens do not always work because I don't use them just a whole lot. But, let's see. 
Let's do this in a teal color. When I'm using gel pens, I make sure it is the very last thing I do on a page before leaving the room. So like when this video is over, and I usually start from the middle and work out. So I don't know why I just did that. Um, so what that means is when this video gets turned off, this book stays open and I walk away. I have people ask me all the time, how do you keep from smearing your gel pens? Work from the inside out and walk away. When we mess up is when we go to play and they're not dry yet. So now, I don't want to make anybody dizzy, but I'm going to move the book. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to show you I work from the inside out. This is still inside, coming out. And I don't know if you can see all the glitter in this pen, but there is a bunch. I have literally gotten rid of all my pens that were not gel, except for for a few metallics just because I love the gel pen so much. Now, I'm thinking that should be the yellow and not get colored in. Now this is where I don't want to mess up. There. Okay. But yeah, so gel pens, it's take your time and work from the inside out. Turn your book, whatever it is you need to do to keep your hand out of it. Now, I'm going to do this again before I do the gel this time. Yeah, Jane is, she's such an artist, y'all. She just has some wonderful, wonderful pieces in this book and it feels so good to sit down and be able to do a page in a few hours after having done a book that took months okay so there's creativity okay and you can see some of the glitter on there um, I could do it all the same, but where's the fun in that? So, let's see what other colors. I'm going to use this green for Explore. So, because I work from the inside out, or left to right for me. So, because I'm doing upside down, I start over here. That way my hand doesn't smear anything as I come over. All right, gel pens. Um, this one was Gel Rider. This one is Smooth. So these are from companies that have sent me pens to do reviews. So as you can tell, I don't use my pens often and these are still working. Take your time, though, when you're doing the gel pen part, if you're doing that. Now, that one's wanting to stop. Is there a hole in the end of this one? Sometimes you can scratch on paper or shake your pen down and then scratch on paper or blow through the end or whatever it takes to get it going. This one is not... So, try again. Nope, so I'm going to have to work on that one. Um, let's see, last color down there. Mm, I'm thinking of purple, but I've got two purple things there. So I'm not real sure. Yeah, I'm going to pick this one. This is a gel rider. It says gel writer. I have to turn my book 
so I can keep my hand out of it. And I'm going to go from this side across so I'm not dragging through. And there's our timer. So we have just about enough time to finish this. This one's really juicy. Can you tell I'm concentrating? I'm not talking as much. It's unusual for me. So if you're a member of Coloring Books Keep It Clean, the ladies coloring book group on Facebook, you probably already saw parts of this before you even saw the videos because I do post over there quite regularly. Well, I say regularly. I haven't colored in a while except for the videos for y'all. We just had a lot. We've had a lot. But I think we're, we're working past some stuff. We're doing really well. Sarah, her back seems to all be fine. It was just a fluky thing. She bent over to pick something up and it popped. So, but she's good. Um, it's not Thanksgiving yet when I'm doing this video. So, I'm thinking we're either going to do a taco bar or a baked potato bar for Thanksgiving. My family is not a turkey family. <laughs> no, we're just not. And we're okay with that. So we change it up. We do Mexican food. We've been known to do um, tacos and all that, enchiladas. Oh, I'm going to have to work on this one, too. Um, the potato bar will be something new for us. We've not done that before. But anyway, so yeah, we change it up. But anyway, so there's that page. And yes, I still need to do something to the flower centers. I will probably pull some sort of a yellow or a golden yellow. Yeah, this one is smooth and just pop those centers in in some yellow. But anyway, you know what? I don't want to I don't want to get in a hurry and mess up. So, I will talk to y'all in a few days. Hope you're enjoying the books and or this book and hope to see you later. Bye.